Two sets of identical twins share one incredible and perhaps unprecedented story. You have one brother from each set wound up going home with the wrong family. This happened when they were newborns. They all stayed in the same hospital in Bogota, Colombia. But stay with me. Carlos here went home with Jorge, and in turn, that meant their twins, William and Wilbur, then grew up together. So they thought they were fraternal and not identical. So this is a case of uh, double case of switched at birth. A friend recorded the moment when one pair of identical twins met one another for the very first time. Willa está más blanquito. Sí, Willa está más blanquito. El frío. El frío. No, pero increíble este deporte. Bastante increíble. Ay, Dios mío, no, esto no, no puede ser cierto. No, man. No, yo no puedo creer. O sea, yo analizo lo que pasó y yo digo, bueno, no sé si es mejor lo que sucedió o no ir en la calle y verlo. Pero yo no... How wild is this? The brother's story makes uh, for a fascinating case of nature versus nurture is featured in this current issue of the New York Times Magazine. So with me now is the magazine's editor in chief, Jake Silverstein. So Jake, thank you so much for joining yeah, me. Absolutely. Thank you for bringing fruit I have because visual we need visuals in this kind of story. Because again, this is a situation of two right. sets of twins separated That's right. and switched. It is very hard to follow. The story is inherently confusing. It's like a game of three-card Monty with, totally. with humans. Uh, and so I have found in explaining the story that a visual aid of some kind helps. And so you, you explained it pretty well with photographs at the outset. But just to go over it again, okay. you have two sets of identical twins, right? Jorge uh, and, and, uh, and William. And they are born, because one thing that you didn't get into in the intro is how different the environments of these two twins Rural were. Rural farmland. So these guys, yeah, these guys, Jorge and William, born in, or they're supposed to be both born in Bogota in, in, in the city. These guys over here. Uh, Carlos and Wilbur from a very, very remote part of northern Colombia. Uh, it's extremely rural, very, very poor. The house that they're from, their family's from, no running water, no electricity. You got to walk through the mud for miles to even get there. So they're both all at the same hospital. They get switched like this. And so these guys go home together. And that's where our story kind of begins. I, I was going to get to the fact that because I know one set who ended up in it was at Santander in yeah. the rural farmland was frustrated thinking, well, they could have grown up and going to school in Bogota. Exactly. But, but let me not get ahead of myself. Right. So this whole thing came to light as a total coincidence at a grocery store. Exactly. So what happens is these two guys, the, the twins, this is uh, Wilbur. <laughs> Will, this is Wilbur and this is William and they're raised in the countryside. They move to Bogota, right? So they move to Bogota. They both end up working as butchers in a grocery store in Bogota. Now, Jorge, this is Jorge right here, and William, who are identical twins, right? So Jorge works in a, 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 like a, a piping uh, company. He, he works in the piping department of a natural gas company. And somebody who he works with goes into their butcher shop and sees William. She says, Jorge, what are you doing working behind mm -hmm. the counter as a butcher? You're, you work in piping in that department. He's like, who are you talking about? Like, I'm not this about? person. I'm William, right. And so uh, the long, to make a long story short, because it's quite a long story. Um, New York Times Magazine. In the New York Times Magazine this Sunday. Uh, the, um, they get a photograph of William, the butcher, and she brings it and shows it on her phone mm -hmm. to Jorge, her coworker. And he thinks that's crazy. Eventually, they go look at William's Facebook profile. And that's when Jorge, who's, who's looking at William's Facebook profile, sees on William's Facebook profile that William has a brother mm. that looks exactly like Jorge's brother. Oh my and goodness, his mind is I have an identical like, twin, right. not just this fraternal twin who I thought all my 20-some right. years of life. That's right. We saw the moment a second ago when we showed the video, and one of them was joking, if I recall correctly, where he was saying, I don't know if I would have rather found out this way or just walking down the street right, and seeing right. this mirror image of myself. Yeah. The other fascinating piece of this, this massive um, article is about, um, how did you phrase it to me? Um, uh, the, the twins, twins research. The twins research. Yeah. And we talk a lot about nature versus nurture, but right. when they meet each other, how, how the qualities are so similar, even they grew up so separately. That's right. Well, this story eventually, initially came to us uh, through the work of a woman named Nancy Siegel, who's a, a, a researcher at Cal State Fullerton. Um, and she's written a couple of books on not just twins research and twin studies, which is a whole field, but, uh, reared, but apart. reared apart twin studies. So that is to say, twins, and this doesn't happen that often, but identical twins who are reared apart that are then studied once they're reunited to see how similar are they. It's actually a fascinating field. It was pioneered by this woman's mentor, a guy named Bouchard, who taught at the University of Minnesota and pioneered this, this field uh, with a study of two identical twins, Jim and Jim from Ohio, 
who in 1979 rediscovered each other. They were 39 years old and had tremendous similarities. They had married women with the same first name. They vacationed at the same beach, all this crazy stuff. So all of this twin science, yeah. it's, it's woven through this entire piece, just finally, and then I'll let you go. Are they bitter? Well, it's interesting. I mean, to, to me, the heart of this story are the two brothers who were sort of raised in the wrong place. Yeah. And so on the one hand, you have Carlos, who had a lot of benefits. He was raised in the city. He would have been raised in the country. He was able to go to a nice school, et cetera. Um, he sometimes wonders, according to our story, he sometimes wonders, would I have the same life if I had had a much harder upbringing? And then you have William, who had a very difficult upbringing and I think feels a little bit bitter mm -hmm. that he missed out on certain opportunities. He never got to know his mother. These guys, their mother died three years before this ever came out. Uh, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of difficulty. On the other hand, the four of them are now all kind of living together like one big crazy family. When, one thing is when Jorge comes home to tell William about it, he says, do you believe in telenovelas? So that's kind of the best way to express this whole crazy story.